G'day guys. So, um, first of all, thank you for being here to watch my videos. Um, we, we are a, you know, I'm very grateful for the rugby community, uh, for everybody who watches my videos. And it, 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 I can't, you know, never could I imagine how many people are passionate about the sport as much as I do. And especially, you know, in Australia, when rugby is dying rapidly, um, I really do appreciate everybody who supports me. And, you know, for me, it's a privilege to be a member of this rugby community that we all live in. And I think that, you know, it is my duty. It is everybody's duty who's watching this video to try to make our community, our little world, a little bit better. Not just for us, but for everybody who around the world who wants to be part of the rugby community. We want to welcome them with open arms. We want to present our community in the best light possible. And uh, today I have decided to write a petition uh, calling for the resignation of the chairman of Australian Rugby, Hamish McLennan, and the entire board of directors. And uh, quite frankly, the, the Australian Rugby has done really poor job in recent times, not just regionally in terms of development and growth of the sport, but globally as a whole, that the falling of Australian Rugby has really done a lot of damage to the to the sport all around the world and it's something that we need to address as a community to going on to to make the go into the future and and i think that it is a part of our duty it is part of our privilege to try to address these issues that we have in our sport you know we can't change everything around the world we can't stop the war in the middle east and we can't stop the war in europe who knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but today, um, I think we can do something to make a difference in our little community that we love so much, that we care so much about, and try to make a little bit of difference uh, to make this world just a little bit better overall for everyone. So I've been reading some news when it comes to the chairman of Australia, Hamish McLennan. Uh, he has, yeah, very interesting responses to to you know the the awful results of the Wallabies at the Rugby World Cup being eliminated at the pool stage, and uh, just reading some of the things that he has to say is just absurd. So it has been revealed that I think today or yesterday that Rugby Australia, this guy has blown the budget at the Rugby World Cup, and you might be thinking, how could you blow on a budget? When you only had to stay there for a maximum of four weeks, right? You're not there in the semi-final, you're not in the quarter-final, and you're definitely not there in the final. Right? You only had to be there for, for four or five weeks. How could you have blown the budget? And um, yeah, uh, there are some speculations that, you know, that they, they were they were, they were, they were members um, of the, the, the board members in Paris staying after Australia has been eliminated. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different speculations of to what they actually were doing in, in, in the, the sort of you know, how they, you know, spend their money, essentially. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go too much into that because a lot of these uh, accusations and um, just media stuff, right? So we're not going to talk about that. So the issue I have is the way that this guy conducts himself. The absolute arrogance and the absolute just what do you call it cronyism that exists in rugby australia is just poisoning poisoning the sport and it's it's just unacceptable for me to be frank and he basically came out after the loss and said that if they try to spear myself hamish mcclennan warrior who is the new CEO. You know why he called him Wai? Because they went to the same high school as Shaw in Sydney, right? So his buddy, his crony, uh, if you, you know, Wai and the board, they might find they've got a bigger problem in their hands. He's talking about anybody who wants to get rid of him, the CEO and the board. Um, so yeah, he's uh, pretty like publicly threatening Anybody who wants to challenge his position, essentially. And um, he said that, 
and I quote, I don't need that. I don't feel the need to apologize for any call when they're made, when they're all made with the best intention of helping Rugby Australia. Now that is a very, very, very big call. Best intention for Rugby Australia, as in you and the board members and your cronies, or best intentions of helping up Rugby Australia in terms of growing the sport, uh, in terms of winning games, or in terms of, uh, you know, in, or in terms of, I don't know, looking out for your own interest. What are you actually talking about here? And he wants to further on take credit for signing the sponsorship. He said, and I quote, we have a great team, but for the record, I had a little bit to do with signing of Cadbury, getting Harvey Norman in, helping strike a deal with Nye and Stan. Whilst forgetting that the Wallabies used to be sponsored by Qantas. So he didn't mention that he lost the sponsorship of Qantas. He didn't mention that he lost the deal with Foxtel, uh, an ongoing deal with Foxtel, and he had settled with a much less smaller deal with Channel 9 and Stan Sport. He failed to mention all that. Very eager to take credit. So... You know, I think it's it's very clear. I think it's time for him to go. And I'm just going to read out some of the things, some of the points I've made in my petition. And hope you can go have a look at this petition yourself in detail. And I have put in references in every point that I made. Uh, you can go check them yourself. But um, here are some of the points that I think is, you know, here, here's my reasoning as to why I think the board and McLennan needs to go. So I'll just read this. This petition calls for resignations of Rugby Australia Chairman Hamish McLennan and the entire board of directors and to cease public funding to Rugby Australia until all resignations has been received for the following reasons. A. Rugby Australia has grossly misused its funding. Misguided firing, number one, misguided firing of Dave Rennie in 2023 and paying out his four-year contract after just three years, a coach who delivered close results against top teams such as France and Ireland with 40 injuries last year, and was limited by the Gitter War to only able to have three international players with a 33% win rate. All right? Number two, hiring Eddie Jones in 2023 with an unreasonably long five-year contract, who was fired by England just months before for poor results, Delivering the worst results in the history of the Wallabies, 22% win rate with fewer injuries than Dave Rennie, and unrestricted access to international players. Number three, significantly blown the budget at the Rugby World Cup, like I already mentioned. You can tell me how they spend their money after only spending four weeks in Paris. The, number four, the management has failed to maintain a huge amount of key talents to stay and play in Super Rugby domestically whilst publicly announcing huge contracts to rugby league players. Number five, the signing of Joseph Swali, a reportedly $5 million over three years, the highest Australian rugby union contract ever to someone with only high school rugby union experience, no rugby league premiership or state of origin experience, 43.5% tackle completion, zero tries at rugby league world cup. So yeah, that's number five. Number six, Failing to secure private equity, resorting to borrowing $60 million after the 2023 Rugby World Cup. So that's going to happen uh, later this year, maybe in early next year. Uh, so that's the first section. Section B, Rugby Australia has failed to operate to a minimal standards of performance. Number one, the Wallabies have fallen to its lowest win rate at 22%, two wings out of nine losing every match against Tier 1 Nations. This was a massive blow to public interest, a failed catastrophe, a fa and failed ca catastrophically when it comes to inspire the next generation during a crucial Rugby World Cup year. Number two, Wallabies have fallen to the lowest Rugby World rankings 
ever to 10th, believe it or not, on September 25th in 2023. Number three, the Wallabies finish last for the first time ever in the history of the rugby championship. Number four, for the first time ever, the Wallabies were eliminated in the pool stage of the Rugby World Cup. Number five, failing performances by super rugby teams, the Australian teams were largely uncompetitive against the New Zealand teams. Number six, alarmingly poor player management with injury rate egregiously higher than international standards, 40 injuries in 2022. Number seven, failing to identify new talents. Joseph Swali, the guy that they pay $5 million for, reportedly asked for $300,000 in 2018 and was rejected by Rugby Australia. Uh, part three, the management has done severe damage to the public image of Australian rugby and Wallabies, the Wallabies brand. Number one, they had someone in the senior executive positions, like, like I said, one of, the, one of their, uh, their cronies, was involved having child abuse materials. And it was arrested. Yeah. Yeah. The highest circle of the, of, of the, uh, of the Rugby Australian board. Senior executive. Uh, number two. Firing Dave Rennie and hiring Eddie Jones prior to Rugby World Cup grossly damaged the reputation of Rugby Australia, making hiring prominent coaches in the future extremely difficult. Number three. Embarrassing the players and the reputation of the Wallabies by making the players sing the national anthem in indigenous language in multiple occasions whilst having no indigenous players in the team. I, it's just unfathomable how they even come to that conclusion. Number four, Rugby Australia's frequent public expression of interest for rugby league players with big offers has severely damaged the popularity and perception of the sport, especially amongst rugby league fans. And number five, the lackluster community support and rugby union still largely wealthy private school sport in Australia. Okay? And these are just some of the most glaring issues involved uh, in, in Rugby Australia at the moment. And this does not include the, the stuff that they, the lackluster support they have for the women's game and uh, so on and so forth. You know, the community level we mentioned a little bit. Uh, so yeah, there's an opportunity to save the Rugby Australia in 2025 when it comes to the Lions Tour and 2027 at the Rugby World, Home World Cup in Australia. And, and, and it's very evident that the current board members and Hamish McLennan are ill-suited to fulfill this task. And we need to get rid of them. So please help end this Hamish McLennan era and please make the rugby community just a little bit better for all of us. So hopefully you sign this petition. Links down below, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the petition to anybody you know. Um, yeah, hopefully we can make a little bit of difference to this game that we all love and enjoy and feel so passionately about. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.